or should I say startup, which uh, its name is Eco Donko. And uh, the name of the startup means that we provide sustainable and eco-friendly products and could range from cosmetic products to even uh, hair cleaning products or lipstick products, but all of them are ecological. And uh, <coughs> aim, of course, to reduce carbon emission and promote sustainable lifestyle. So this is mainly the value proposition. Now, if we move to what we do exactly, which are the key activities, it includes three axes, or four, I don't know. It's about sourcing raw materials and then designing the product. After we design the product, we produce it. But also, we promote them through various marketing uh, tools, like TikTok and Instagram can go hand in hand to promote it for like a trench of 18 to 24. And then you have uh, Facebook for all the people like uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, our partners, we mainly partners with locals, NGOs, but also other could be international organizations that, of course, mainly talk about or treat the subject of uh, sustainable development goals. If we move on to uh, the customer segments, very important access, target customers, which are uh, our niche, are mainly uh, people who are environmental environmentally conscious, so they could range from individuals or organizations who are looking for uh, eco-friendly alternatives to support uh, the sustainable development. We move on to the customer relationship. Uh, we engage them mainly in three axes. The first one, which is social media, very important and mainly our uh, focus acts. And then we have uh, newsletters, and of course at the end we have events. But since we will start as a start startup, we start up small with only online events, not actual events. So we move on to the channels, very easy, probably e-commerce platforms. We can use Amazon or more or less eco-friendly e-commerce businesses to uh, align with uh, our vision. And then also, yeah, that's all. And yeah, social media. We can uh, send through Instagram, of course, Facebook, or whatever social media we're talking about. So if you uh, probably made some research about resources, resources are the entity or are the things that are essential to provide for the company in order to produce their products, which is called key resources. So our suppliers of eco-friendly raw materials, one, raw materials, two, skilled designers, and three, craftsmen. I don't know if you know the meaning of craft, craftsman. This is the guy who does traditional uh, things, or objects, or whatever. Like but candles. For example. Um, yes, yes, I know. Uh, and of course, he's strong online presence by uh, having a clear marketing strategy on how we, he can um, do a certain or different kinds of content to engage our audience. So, uh, cost structure, yeah, costs include raw materials, of course, labor costs, uh, advertising and marketing, I, I guess it's gonna be 30% of our budget, and finally, uh, the rent and utilities. So, we move on the, to the next element, which is, of course, the most important. Revenue. Revenue is uh, through simply selling sustainable products, but our products are not normal eco-friendly products. They're probably normal, but we want to uh, target the category of premium products. So for example, if we take a, a cream or hydrating cream, which is 100% natural, usually you get it, for example, for 40 euros, we wanna target the uh, audience who were ready to pay 60 and 70 euros. So we're gonna find some uh, cool solutions of packaging and all of that. And 